Right then, so this is lesson two. Um, so we've said this idea that if I differentiate it, we'll lose that constant. So when we integrate it back, we just have a plus C. And it gives us this kind of almost like a, a Pringles tube full of curves all crossing through the y-axis, all stacked on top of each other. Now this is called, it's called a general solution. You won't come across that term until your second year again, but that's what, until the end of your second year actually. But it is, it's a general solution. And it's a family of all possible curves, you call it. I just call it a Pringle tube stacked on top of each other of millions of curves of potential curves. Now the idea is to fix it through one specific point. If you have a coordinate somewhere that you know the line goes through, you can fix it and you can find your C value. And that's called a particular solution. <laughs> Once again, it's not a word you'll just see until like literally this time next year, because we're doing this stuff now in second years. Right, so I integrate, integrate it, sub in the coordinates, find C, and then write it down. That, that is literally what you have to do. That's our plan in a nutshell. Are you ready then? So I've got this equation here. So I know that F dashed of X is, now I'm going to split it uh, as two fractions. So that's F dash, so it's going to be X squared over root X. So x to the power 2 divided by x to the power half is going to give you x to the power 3 over 2. Minus 2 over root x. So that's going to be minus 2x to the minus a half. Right, so I'm going to integrate it. So I'm going to use an integral, it's called an integrand sign actually, of x to the power 3 over 2 minus... 2x to the minus a half dx, and that's going to give me f of x that. So I integrate it, f of x. So if I add 1 to the power, it's x to the 5 over 2 divided by 5 over 2, so that's the same as 2 fifths, minus, now it's going to be x to the a half divided by a half. That divided by a half is the same as times in by two. I was only times in by two, so I've got a four there. And then I've got a plus C. So this is my idea, it's called a general solution. Hmm. Like I say, you don't really come across that term uh, until this time in your second year. Maybe one of the hardest packs. So that's my general solution. But I know it goes through four or five. So I'm going to use 4, 5 to find C. So 5 is my y value, 4 is my x value, so I've got 5 is, ooh, what's the loss that going to be? So square root of the 4 is 2. 2 to the power 5, so 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Times by 2, so I've got 64 over 5. Minus, square root of 4 is 2, so minus 8 plus C. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit here. So if I take everything over to the left-hand side, the completed pack tells me that that is just 1 fifth. Because if you take the 8 over, it would be 13. And then you're taking away 64 over 5, which is 12 and 4 fifths. So that's it. So I found my C value. So on that, I've done the first three bits of those, that little method. So now I just write it out again. But replace the C with 2 fifths. There. So that is called a particular solution, but like I said, you don't really come across that terminology until this time of year. So there's one for you to do, so see if you can beat me to it. Um, so 
that's going to be minus 4 x to the minus, that's going to be plus 2 x to the minus 2. Plus 6 would be minus 4 over minus 2. So that's my general solution. And then I'm going to use 1 comma 16. So, yeah. so when I integrate the dy by dx, it goes back to y. Right. So I'm looking at the next page. This might be like a stop the video, but yeah, it is. I'm going to stop the video there because this is something new for us. Okay.